all right hello guys it's pug uh welcome back to another video uh this is going to be an updated how to cast video is the old one had some pretty cool poor quality mic and uh just poorly kind of recorded and i've also been had some feedback about it being too fast so i'm gonna slow this one down a bit better mic so it should be much easier to follow also if you guys already know how to cast and you just want to start casting for other people then my server is a great way to find people who need casters you just want to head over to the cast application channel it's quite near the top just here and here you'll find the cast application and there are many many opportunities to being a caster in my server such as access to the devs private camera mod as well as getting casters in major leagues such as intermediate uh, where you have to become a caster in this server here to become a caster there so there are some great opportunities if you do want to become a caster all right so the very first thing you need when you're casting is <clears throat> you will need the monkey mod manager which is basically an uh, injector application that allows you to inject mods into gorilla tag so the first uh, the way you can download that is either be either searching it up on github or you can head over to my discord server the link will be in the bio uh in the description even you want to head down to mod information and you want to scroll up until you find monkey mod manager right here you just want to click on the link <coughs> then it'll open up this github page you just want to scroll down just a little bit until you see the monkey mod manager dot exe you just want to left click on it as you can see it will download it right here you then want to open this up and it is open up the monkey mod manager the things you will need when you first install monkey mod manager is bep inject which automatically takes uh, x to inject you'll also need tmp loader and utiller these are all required if you want to cast then you should do install slash update that has then installed all of these into your game now you can minimize that okay once you have that installed, the very first thing you want to do before any of this is to get your mods working. So I, I now recommend that you quickly go ahead and watch this video right here, how to make Gorilla Tag mods work. Because currently, uh, Lemming put out an update in Gorilla Tag that stops most mods, if not all mods, from working. Uh, so you just want to follow this video and that gets you working. It's only like a two minute video. It's a very, very quick process. Alright, now that you've watched that video and you have your mods working, you want to download sin sinai uh unity explorer <laughs> all right so once you've opened up the github page it will pop up like this uh it should say latest right here if it doesn't say latest i believe if you just click this name normally it updates and it gives you the most latest version then you want to scroll down and you want to get unity explorer bepanx 5monozip it should be the third one down right here and then you want to left click it once again, this will install like it did with Monkey Mod Manager. Then what I recommend you do is that you drag this file onto your desktop. It makes it much easier. Then you can close this. Now you want to open back up Monkey Mod Manager that you minimize down here. You want to head over to Utilities. And then you want to go over to Game Folder. Now you've opened this, you'll have access to all of your game folders. The first thing you want to do is just go to Bepanex. Then you want to go down to plugins. This is all you guys should have after installing what I told you to a monkey mod manager previously. These are the only things you should see. Now what you want to do is drag the Unity Explorer file into here. You then want to right click it. And then you want to extract all. If you have WinRAR, you do the same. You just press, I think it's extract here or 7-zip again, just extract it. You want to extract it in this file. Extract. This then creates another page like this. You can close that. So now it has this one, but we're not done yet. We have to go open this folder. Okay, once you have done that, you want to open the extracted version of that folder. <coughs> you then want to open the plugins folder. And this is the folder we need. You then just want to drag this right here where it says the plugin name above. So this right here, drag this folder right there like this. 
now you can click this and then you can delete the extracted version right here and you can delete the zipped file right here and now this is what your plugins folder should be looking like And you just want to do install slash update and that will then install the unity explorer file okay now that you have everything required to start modding you just want to download the 70s camera mod you want to head into my server and then go to mod info again it's at the top then you want to download 70s camera setting mod it will say potentially dangerous, don't worry, I've used this for a long time and there are thousands of others that do as well. So don't worry about this. Again, we're going to do the same as we did last time. We're just going to drag this onto our desktop like so. Then we're going to open our game folder again. Go to Bepinex, plugins. And then here we can drag the 70s camera mod into our plugins folder and now we can do install slash update once again installing the camera mod into our thing and we can quickly test this by opening up gorilla tag and as you can see i have opened up gorilla tag and we have unit explorer here and we have 70s camera mod If neither of those things popped up after watching this tutorial, then make sure first of all that you have put your files into the correct plugins folder. If I go to Monkey and Mod Manager real quick, Utilities and Game Folder, you want to make sure you are going to Bepinex and then Plugins. This is the correct plugins file folder. There is another plugins folder through Gorilla Tag Data and then Plugins. This is not the correct one. You do not want to put your folders here. This will not work. If your mods are still not appearing up, it is most likely that you have either not watched the mod fix video or you have not done it correctly. If you need any more help with any of this, please let me know. Just join the server and then feel free to go to hashtag questions. And here you can get any more help needed. Now, there are some more uh, plugins that you can add to help your casting and make it more engaging. One of them is a comp list. This lists all the players in the corner of your screen in the game, and it also numbers the players 1 to 9, telling you which button to press to spectate. So I highly recommend getting this one. Again, just press the continue to download. Keep. And you just want to drag this one to your home screen. The name tag mod is another one I highly suggest. This puts players' names above their gorilla so that you know who you are spectating whilst uh, you spectate them. Again, continue to download, keep, and then just drag this onto your desktop. Once you've done that, Open up Monkey Mod Manager. Go to Utilities, Game Folder, Bepinex, and then Plugins. And then here you just want to drag both of these files into the Plugins folder. And then you do Install slash Update. As you can see, I'm currently in a code. So the way the Game Manager works, is here in the corner you left click it to open it up and here it gives you a list of everyone in the code you can then press numbers as it says next to their name to watch them now there are some commonly known issues with the 70s camera mod and the name tag mod these consist of when you go to spectate people using the numbers is that you can appear above them the only way around this is by pressing control to go below them unfortunately you will have to do this every time you spectate someone and with the name tags there is no current method to fixing them they will always remain very high above people unfortunately 
And if you're wondering how to get rid of this tab, such as the 70s camera settings tab at the bottom in the code, just press tab. This will hide it all. And that is everything that you need to know about how to start casting. I recommend that you use OBS to live stream to people when you cast. And I also recommend a timer software called LiveSplit. I have a video about LiveSplit here. All it is is a little timer, kind of like that right there, you can put in the corner of your screen, which allows you to show your stream the current running time of a round. I hope this helped and make sure to join the server please like and subscribe again if you need any more assistance with any of the steps during this video feel free to go to questions and just ping uh casting helper just like this ping casting helper right here uh let them know of your issue and you should be good to go from there thank you very very much for watching this video Again, I hope it helped, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.